Hey, welcome back, Top Hat Smoking Barbecue. What we got for you today is a beef tenderloin. Got a prime cut here. It's come from Costco. It's about a seven pound uh, piece of meat. It's pretty expensive, just letting you know. It's about $14 a pound, so it's not something you can eat every day. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna inject it, after I make a big mess, with uh, beef broth, some Worcestershire sauce, and some hot sauce. We're gonna inject it right through the cryo pack thing here, that'll help keep uh, the mess down. So we're just gonna start injecting. And what we're gonna do is leave this injection here for an hour or two, and then we'll come back and we'll put our apply our rub. And what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna cook this today on our La Caja China roasting box. See how it turns out. I've been wanting to try it, and that's what we're gonna do. So you just go. You know, every inch or two, you just find a spot and swell this sucker up with some of this good stuff. Give it some nice flavor, and then we'll put a nice rub on it. Put up a steak rub or a brisket type rub, since this is beef. And uh, we will come back in about an hour or so. We'll show you. We'll take it out of the wrap, and we'll show you what we're going to do then. So we'll see you in about an hour. Okay, we've had our marinade for a couple hours. So what we're gonna do now is apply some rub. We're gonna put a little bit of this uh, AP rub and killer hog, salt, pepper, and uh, garlic on there. Nice liberal amount of that on there. And then we're also gonna put on like a little bit of this Montreal steak. Gives it a nice crust. We'll do this on both sides. Push her in there pretty good. Alright. So what that good marinade you got in there. Take this. The trash here. Alright. I'm gonna keep one hand clean all the time. Alright, now what we're gonna do is put this on and we're gonna put some butcher string on this tie just to keep it all together. We'll tie this flat back like that. And uh, we'll see what we got. So, we're we'll gonna put this butcher string on. Like I said, we'll tie this flat back. A little bit like that. String under here like this. And then we're going to do that all the way down. So we'll see when we get all this back on, all this tied up, and ready to put it on the, the roaster. So in a little bit. Okay, we have it all tied up. That'll keep it nice together so it don't spread out. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take it over to the box over here in Meat Town. We're going to go in here today because it's windy and we don't want to be out exposed to the wind. So we're going to leave it right there like that. And then uh, what we're going to do now is we'll put the top on the lid. box and put some charcoal in here that charcoal lit Processes. We'll come back and show you that here shortly. We got the coals lit. They've been rolling for about 20 minutes. Forgot to tell you, we did put some temperature gauges in there. Now we're just going to spread this out. Nice and even. And what we'll do is let this go for about an hour. And then we'll, if the beef's not done, which I don't believe it will be, we will add another eight pounds of charcoal. So that's how we do it here. We got the charcoal spread out. And the beef's in there, so trust me, it's very hot. <laughs> so 
So there you go. We'll be back in one hour to add eight more pounds of charcoal and check the temp on the beef. See you in an hour. Here we go. It's been over an hour, so we're going to add some more charcoal. We're going to have probably about another hour tops to go. and uh, get that brewing up and then what we'll have we're going to pour that meat out we're going to put a grill on top of this some grates and we're going to sear it on top of it so we'll show you that give us about another 35 40 minutes and we'll be back okay, we got our meat up to where we want it it's about 130 132 Take these coals off, we'll take the meat out, and then we're going to put the coals back on. We're going to put a little grill on top and we're going to sear them off. Let's see what we got. Like this. Put this over here. It's looking pretty good. Alright, so there you go. Looking pretty good. We really need to sear it too much. That side does. So we're going to set this in this pan over here. Excuse me, Jackson. I'm going to put these coals right back on. We don't need these no more. Uh, it's easy to have now. I can tell you that. Uh, I'll get it. Okay. Put the coals back on. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to rake them in the middle a little bit. on top of it and then that's going to be our uh, our grill so we'll let that get hot and then we'll come back and show you what we want to do we're going to take this back and chart this bottom side right here over this grill i love that sound we'll char that out the top side we don't need to char it got charred from being in the box one two minutes then we're going to take it off put it back in our aluminum tray and then we're going to put it in our hot box for half hour and let that meat rest and get them juices back in there so we'll see you back here in about a minute or two when we're ready to take her off we're going to take her off of here as you can see it certainly is charred i can get her off of here Woohoo! i need to get some bigger gloves let me grab my bigger gloves right here real quick No problem. <laughs> a little hot there, but that little makeshift grill work good. We'll take it over here to our box. I think it's sizzling, you can hear it. We'll just throw it in here. Look at that char on this side here. Let me show you. That's what we came up with. Nice char. Exactly what we wanted. So what we're gonna do now is cover this and then all the juices go back into the meat. You'll suck back in the meat while it rests. And this thing should be outstanding. Hopefully we didn't overcook it, but we'll see. It's going to be good. It's our first time trying a beef tenderloin in the roasting box there. We're going to take it over here and put it in our Cambro, our hot box. 
and we're gonna let it rest in here I don't know half hour hour and it'll stay nice and hot so we'll see you back when we're ready to take it out of here and we'll slice into it and see what we got okay we've let it rest for I don't know 45 minutes to an hour so now we're gonna pull out our uh, tenderloin and take it over here and see what we got. Lay it right here. Open her up, Jack, so we can see how it looks. Woo! Looking good, looking good. Look at all that good eyes, you. Alright, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna cook, call that, cut all that string off that we put on there. Alright. Wow, looks good. I hope it tastes good. Let's uh, go ahead and just cut us one piece right out of here in the middle. Alright. A little bit more done than I wish. But uh, our first chance here. So let's see what we got. There you go. A little too done, but I'm going to tell you something. That's about the most tender piece of beef you'll ever eat in your life. It doesn't even matter that it's a little overcooked. A little medium well. I like it high medium rare. That's our first time doing it in the La Caja China. But beef tenderloin in the La Caja China. That's a damn good piece of beef. Get yourself some of that. Get yourself some. <laughs>